Hey guys, Enzo here, back playing Final Fantasy XII, and I switched it up again. As you can see, the party is um, just level 1, 2, and 3 here, because I'm playing now the new game minus, so this is going to be a challenge because they don't level in this new game minus, but the upside is you do get to you know still level your licenses, so that's very crucial, because without it, um, we have no chance basically of beating this game but this is where the challenge holds really strategizing what your party is going to be and uh, making use of all of their license and their license board so for Van as you can see he's my machinist red battle mage Valthier is a white mage Ulan Fran is a monk black mage Bash is a Bushi Shikari Ash knight archer and a low time battle mage full breaker. So this uh, these guys are my go-to. Van, both here and Fran. I'm at the point now where I last left off in my regular game. So I'm on my way to the Mesforan Highways. But before that, let me initiate a hunt here in Nalbina Town. So we're here in Nalbina near the crystal. The petitioner is for the the hunt for the Atomos. So there's somewhere over here. Yeah, just over here. This guy. Burrow. Remember this guy? Uh, we saw him. He's the one that gave us like the tube fuse in uh, Barheim Passage. So, well, well. You're the boy what I gave that fuse to down in the passage. You come about my bill for the Atomos. That Atomos has got our caravan stopped cold. Can play in any of the goods my customers want, and that's death in my trade. That's why I want you to hunt it and kill it. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's get you to the details so that you can get out of here, get out there and hunt. Maybe you know and maybe you don't, but just a while back the Imperials condoned off the highway leading up to the Mosforan highways. See, they was out capturing as many slave and wilders as they could, but get their hands on. Army wanted him for some reason or another. Well, their hunt's over now and it sent this almost into a rampage, seeing as how they get on well with slave and wilders. And who suffers? The caravans. The, the Imperials are the one to blame, but pointing fingers don't solve problems. Kill the Atomos for things get out of hand, boy. Cool. So let's be on our way to the most foreign highways. Um, I muted the music because I don't want to get a copyright claim. Uh, the music here in the Dalmasca Esther sign is copyright claim by Square Enix, of course. The composers and the guy that made the music for this game is really great. Hats off to him. Alright, but this part I think we can turn back the music up. And uh, yeah, let me show you my gambits as well. So I'm gonna have fun as my big boy. He casts Libra as well to see details and traps. Van, I mean, Valkyr is my uh, white mage. He's a white mage, Ulan, so he can attack and heal and also buff the party with protect. And uh, my party leader, Fran, casting blind and elemental attacks. But if none are weak from the elements, uh, magics that I have there, then she's gonna cast by it. Feel free to pause the gambits that I have so that you can utilize it if you want to try it again. Yeah. I'll try my best not to keep using times to speak because you don't really appreciate the the action and everything if I keep using times to. It beats the or removes the immersiveness yeah. factor, I, I think. And it's my first time here, as you can see, so I'll cover as much of the maps as I can. 
But my itinerary for this video is to do the Lakhans and that's when I will do the time too and then casting and stuff like fun here trying to decoy himself but keeps missing. That happens a lot here in this uh, new game mode. It's, it's probably because they're all just low level. So some stats are not maxed as they should, of course. I don't know which factor uh, or stat is dependent for decoy. I've read something like it's dependent on uh, vitality and um, some other factor. show you by the way the accessories that they have. I'm having Vaughn since he's my, uh, my tank. He's using Gauntlet so that he, does, he takes less physical damage when his HP is critical. Um, while here, here, Thermaline Ring. Wait, no. I should be using a Thermaline Ring. Instead, this one. Pheasant. Metsuke. But yeah, it's to improve the potency of potions. While Fran should use Sage Ring so that magics are half empty cost. Plus, like, some immunity against holy magic. Not that we're gonna need it at this point, but that comes in handy later on. HP a lot because like her magics are stronger when her HP is full. She has the uh, serenity ability which makes her magic stronger when you know, her HP is full. But yeah, um, also need to watch out here in the most foreign highways guys for an elemental monster. So I've encountered some of them already. Like the water elemental in the Garmside waterway, the ice yeah. elemental in Paramina Rift, and the water elemental. I believe that's it for now, but we encountered them. They're a little bit of a challenge, but I treat them like, like a mini, like a sub boss somewhat. <laughs>
yeah, I also recommend guys, like, at this stage of the game, you, you'll have access to a lot of, like, the power grinding, or, you know, areas for leveling, but in this case, it's without level, just to get license points and kill. I recommend that this stage be any, uh, any mines, um, the jellies in an area there, that you need to, like, circle around, and the jellies, once you flip the switch, they're gonna drop from the ceiling and stuff, so that's where I get a lot of my uh, gill from, so I was able to farm like around 300,000 uh, gill, and a lot of um, teleport stones as well, which is great for like going around places. Yeah, there's a map over there. I believe that this the map below here connects back to the Esther Sand, you know, that connects to the Broken Sands, I believe. But we'll go there some other time if we need to. Okay, so cool. We're already here in the Babbling Vale here. So there's like a safe spot with an orange crystal. That's what I needed. And yeah, let me show you orange crystal. Let me see it later. And this dude over here, this caravaner who happens to be loose, yo. So greetings there. So anything you need, let me know because you gotta, or of course you gotta pay. Okay. But yeah, let me go ahead to buy some food. A nice new sword for uh, Abash here with my Bushi. Kiku. Goku Pole, nice for a friend with my mom. Nice upgrades over here. Giant Stone Bow, not really an upgrade for my archer is um, Ash. She's my uh, archer knight. Um, minus four, this is not as strong as the bow that she has now. I wonder what bow she has. Avenger for my. Uh, Shikari, who is still, uh, well, I mean, Bash, Chaos, makes sense. More fun here. Golden Staff, a lot of these other weapons that are gold weapons. But yeah, um, armor upgrades, I need to discern this because, you know, some of them are mixed armors and stuff. Like, Valtir uses like a light armor or mystic armor. Um, Cap and then uses as well a heavy armor. Armor. <laughs> but yeah, let me buy what I need and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, back guys. And so uh, check out the magics that use your sense as well. I just bought a Roga magic for um, Fran and a Vanishka. Uh, Vanishka <laughs> magic. So this is my first. Uh, Ga magic, which is probably like the third and strongest elemental magic I believe. So it's pretty neat. Do so I need any techniques now? So yeah, let me try to sell some um, of my loot here. Yeah, I have this in my bazaar, uh, a high potion pack. It's from like a rainbow egg. It has like 10 high potions as you can see there, but I have like around 97, so I, I won't buy that yet. Uh, so. Well now, are you going to the capital? It's a long way, best get what you need now or I'll regret it later. Okay, so 
So what was that about? I was wondering whether music was muted or what, so, but yeah. Let me show you. Yep. So these are the upgrades I have. Vine uses two mystic armors. Like I said, about here, mystic cap, heavy armor. Um, Frank here already is wearing like a stronger mystic armor, so she just needs mystic cap. Two mystic armors for both. Uh, Bash. I always mix up Bash and Valkyrie. Two B names. All. Anyway, um, heavy armor for Ash and heavy armor for. Penelo as well. Oh wait, let me have her use this bamboo arrow so that it gives a status on hit like poison for every for a foe that is susceptible to poison. So So we're here in Babling Vale. Also check out this area over here. Just like a chest. This one. Pair of thieves cups. So I already have one already, a thieves cup that I was able to steal from, steal that from Vindascar, I believe, in uh, the Still Shine of Miriam. So I have around two now. So you see, there. It gives you like a better chance of getting rare items from a steal. So it's all dead ends over here, including including this area over here. Some maps um, I won't go to yet, like the maps over here and here. I'm gonna go straight ahead to this area, the northern spirit. This is where the hunt is for the Atomos. And uh, let's go. Let's go around the other side. Because the, the maps on the left and right side, you need to activate shrines and stuff. It can also lead you to an Esper, which we will encounter later on. This area is, um, watch out here because like, there are a bunch of these, uh, kind of hard to see them, they're flying. And... Yeah. You could pass by them there, I believe that there's less here. Monsters over there. Um, it's like up here in this, this area, a bunch of those flying monsters. Yeah, let me check out my gambit for. Yeah. He's supposed to be casting the brain people. It's like lagging behind everyone. He's really struggling to cast people successfully.
the gilly boots. How many of those do I have? So I really aim to get like at least three of every useful accessory to fit like everyone in the party. Like this one, I got three uh, gate rings because they have wind damage and also they nullify weather effects. Also, the accessory really saved a lot for this. It's freaking expensive. This one, this cat ear hood have ice and wind damage but also converts the license points that we gain into gil. So this is for like an end game type of accessory. But gilly boots, yeah I have three now, nice. So it makes us immune to oil, something which will be very very useful later on. So I can already tell it. So that's pretty neat. So let's get on our way. So there's a bunch of them up again over there. If ever I need to go back to complete my best area, I will. That's where you'll find those vultures here in the Mosphor and Harris. But just heading my way all the way here, like I said, northern skirts where I'm going to be. Okay, so, something monsters here. Some rare wolf type monsters from Baba. Lol, funny name. As usual, this game is full of funny made monsters. <laughs> Only now do I appreciate like the target lines and the AOE circle uh, feature in this game is like you would know the area of effect of like heals and magic and stuff. Blind, she needs to get up close to the enemies. Kinda of stupid. Aren't you supposed to be backing away when you're like doing like a debuff so like a, an enemy? But I digress. Oh, there, you know, what was that? Okay, let me check it out. Is it like an armor or something? Oh, yeah, metal jerkin. It's like a light armor, number seven. But nobody seems to need it, like, even if I uh, try to select optimize. So everyone's still in par with their armors right now. Over here, um, more of the vultures there, but be careful because there it is. See that guy? That's the almost. Okay, let's be careful and deal with this vulture first before we march against the Atomus. Alright, so I think everybody's cool. Go and do your decoy and I'll have 
the march forward. I wonder what this monster has for steel. I'm curious, so let me have Fran wear a thief's cuff and try to steal from him. I'll just steal manually. They're not attacking, probably because like I have the gambit set up targeting an ally, so they'll only attack when party member is being. That's not the best deal. Wait, I didn't even see what I stole. <laughs> but yeah, let me check. My load couldn't be like a giant feather. What did I get? Let's check out our. Um, is it like a tank hide? I didn't see it. A weapon? Yeah, yeah, it's now. Not really. I don't even know, but yeah. Let me switch it up. Right. Everybody's good. The dude is susceptible to dying. Alright, nice. It is. It's immune to harmful effects, dude. Alright, let's get rid of the blind. Attacking on manual. Wait, I'm doing something wrong in my gambits. Yeah. Oh, because it's probably just targeting. Let me just go ahead and switch it to nearest foe. Targeting ally is not a very good uh, gambit to set for attacks. Now we know. Let me go up ahead so that we can see the face of this um, this mark. Okay. Have um well do you hear heal up friend so that her magic is so stronger? See the difference when her HP is down by a hundred per less than a hundred percent the magic that she's casting is just dealing 900 plus damage but at full HP it's a thousand two hundred plus so very big and nice difference serenity license or ability I really wanna do like a Wait, dude. Fran isn't casting a freaking. Um. Okay, I forgot the letter. Where freaking. Sage Swing to half the empty cost. She wasn't casting because, like, her empty was down. I have, um. Use Ether at below 10% empty. I should change that to probably like 20%, I think. Yeah. It's better if I use that 20, uh, 20%. Let me try it at 20%. Nah, <laughs> let me just let it at 10%. Okay, it's almost down, I think. So I believe it's safe to cast a beginning to finish this mark. To practice my quickenings because I'm gonna need to use a lot of this. I've got you. Show you how it's done. Should have taken that 
miss change for Van. I believe it's gonna already kill this monster. He has a freaking just a fraction of HP left. 2000 plus damage. Me! Almost vanquished. Cool. So, yeah. Items check. Didn't use much high potions. 92 ether, 98 remedy. I bought a bunch of um, stuff from the. What do you call this? The vendor from Mount Chrome says to sell this remedy uh, at this stage of the game. So, I head myself back to uh, Albina Town, guys, and I'll see you guys back here. Alright, back here in Albina Town, guys, speaking to Goro. I already heard from one of the caravans come in before you. Sounds like you made short work of the at the Atomos. The caravans shouldn't have any trouble bringing supplies through the mountains now. You've my thanks, boy. Do you there, Jovi. Or hey there. Um, you're grinding ear to ear, Burrow. What's this hubbub about? This here boy did for the Atomos. Who said? There weren't no heroes in Albina. Jovi runs away. Was it something I said? Sorry, I didn't mean to keep you so long. Thanks for taking care of that almost for me. Here's your bounty boy. You earned every gill. We get 1,800. Gaia rod and a platinum shield. Cool. So, you know that Jovi guy that just ran away just now? Uh, that's like another side quest that we're working towards, so just keep doing the hunts from people here in Albina Town. So I head myself back to the foreign highways, guys. Actually, there's an area there that I need to get to to get... <laughs> this NPC is bumping me. Um, to get a stamp technique, so I'm trying to do 100% to get all the techniques and the magics in this game, so we need to get that. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, back here in Babbling Vale in the most foreign highways, guys, in front of Lucio. I need to speak with him to initiate the hunt for the prey. Greetings there, Sunny. Anything you need? Let me know. Because you gotta pay. Wait, the hunt is now, um, is not initiated. Well, now you're going to the capital. It's a long way. We must get to the real again later. Huh, wait. I have the hunt for the prey here. Uh, Rodeo to the death. Oh wait, no, it's not from Lucio. It's from a petitioner named uh, Bacanza. My bad. So, not Lucio. This Bacanza. Oh, this dude next to Lucio. So yeah, eh? Keep it down, man. I'm busy here. Can't you see? If you've no business with me, I'll speak with you later. Or, can you come about the parade? Hey, truly. Hey, sorry, I tried to brush you off. There, now, listen up. I'm traveling, I'm traveling emergency. Me and my partner were on our way to the hunter's camp in the fun post with some rares. The thing is, we took a wrong turn in the Salico world. Wood, a bad turn. That's when we ran into that nightmare. Talk about wild horses, I escaped by the whistle on my chin. But when I came back, my partner and our wares were gone. I thought I'd wait here for my partner, but so far I ain't seen her. I haven't seen hide nor hair of him. I'm worried, but I'm not enough to go look him myself. That's why I posted that pill and why I want you to go get that gray for me. Bay came upon us in the northwest of the Salico, pretty close to the Necro Hall of the Labyrinth. Come to think, yeah, I know the complete opposite direction from the front post. Where were we, where we were supposed to be headed? Alright, so that's initiated, so that's a long way uh, from here. But like I said, we need to get, um, how I don't know, I said we need to get this. Uh, Stamp technique. 
so we need to get over here in this ray of ash and light. We need to, we can do that by activating uh, some shrines. So this is the yeah, shrine of east wind. A strange scent permeates the air. How do I activate this thing? So let me talk to this new. I've come from the capital to study the shrines here. They seem to be manufactured springs, in fact, growing up water from an aquifer. Pretty they seem to have dried up some time, some time ago. Bad thing is when I examine the shrines, the mechanisms seem functional. Perhaps the flow of water underground changed? Perhaps it might change again. Okay. Why is it that I'm not able to like activate? Alright, so it appears we can't activate the shrines yet, so we're just gonna have to come back here after some events that are gonna take place pretty soon um, where we need to be heading so let's go back to where we fought the um, Atomos over here and then here to Haldi crossing to the Salika world next so I'll see you guys there alright back here in northern skirts guys where we fought the Atomos and uh, on my way to There's a safe crystal here. And there's this dude. Save your game there, I'll save later. Next, we go to the next one. Oh, oh, these guys, yeah. To be able to get to the, um, the phone post, I believe we need to start talking to the, these guys. Oh, a visitor. 
Oh, we're here working on the gate up ahead. Well, not actually right now. Right now we're resting. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I guess that's not the, the Mughal that's gonna initiate. Um, maybe this time it's time. There's a community of hunters on the fawn coast. I came here thinking to join them, but my way is blocked. Should you head east from this forest, well, to the east you will find an old gate. Beyond that, the fawn coast travelers, the gate's broken. Some Mughals were fixing it, but I have some doubt as to their industry in this matter. When will the gate be open? There will be... There being nothing to do about it, I returned here, of course. Now I dropped my map of the wood too. The fate spit upon me, surely. Okay. So... Let's go ahead forward. No map yet. Set the gambit for Fran to use the Aroga magic yet. Switch my arrow to Aroga. There's two ways here. I'm not sure which way to go, but. Visitor, we're here working on the gate up ahead. Well, not actually right now, we're resting. They all have the same line. Okay. Just checking every area. The maps here seem to be winding and stuff. I need to hasten it up a bit guys just like, As much as I wanna like take my time and explore and appreciate everything I don't want my video to be like super long Okay, finally, I think there's a green urn over here. 
for this place, I believe. Map of the site. Nice. So I believe uh, we need to head over to here, the Grand Bower, where there's gonna be like um, it's like an optional boss really to get to over this area which leads to the Necro Hall of Abudis in our hunt for the prey. So that's where we need to go. Um, so I head myself over here and I'll probably do the, the King Bomb hunt. So I already said it. That's the boss over there. It's called the King Bomb. It's like a bomb type monster. So yeah, um, a bit of a long walk over there, so I'm not gonna prolong this video too much. I'm gonna head myself over there, prepare for the boss fight, and I'll see you guys when I get there. Hey guys, I'm back. I uh, was going on my way to uh, what do you call this place where I said Grand Bower, but I encountered here, I mean, Sun Dappled Path, and this monster here. It's like a hair monster, but it's most likely a rare game because it's a little harder to take it down um, and it seems to be immune to like fire magic too uh, so I'm curious as to do it's casting a whole bunch of status on itself right. yeah yeah better dispel him well here It was with a bunch of other wind hair, um, uh, like there were three of them. And I was wondering that like, it wouldn't go down as easily as the others. So there's that rare game over there. If ever, I wonder like what actually allows it to spawn. I guess maybe kill a number of uh, wind hair. Uh, Weird hair, yeah. It was with uh, these guys, like bunny things here in the Salika Wood. So I need to kill two more of these to beat the bestiary for them. So next we're off to Garden of Decay. So definitely if I encounter another rare game guys, I'll get back with you. So still on my way to Grand Bower and I'll be right back. Alright, so back guys and I'm now here in Quiet and Trace, just one map away um, from Grand Bower. And there's an orange crystal as you can see. So this, uh, that's the key that there's going to be a boss fight. So... Make sure to equip your uh, party with ghillie boots. Um, you can get some along the way uh, before getting here. So one you'd have to probably like, win from a hunt and from a chest one. I'm not sure where I got uh, one more but I got three. I have them wearing them and I'll have Vaughn equip a flame shield so that it'll, it'll have fire damage since he's gonna be my tank as well. So still gonna stick with their gambits, casting decoy. Let me remove the, the Libra since he just casted it just now. And um, shall I protect on everyone? I believe. Need, uh, freaking Qualifier needs to do that. And uh, hmm, what else? Let me try to. Um, split it for them. So, um, we call this. Where's my line? Sorry. 
I mean, but, um... Protect for, uh, Von Cassid on the party. So he's gonna cast Protect on everyone, and then Valkyra cast Shell on everyone. Why? Fran, instead of casting Blind, let her cast, um... Uh, what do you call this? Silence. Yeah. Because I believe this boss is like susceptible to silence. But I believe it's gonna have like a bunch of goons, so I'll have it as a foe. Highest, uh, highest max HP, maybe. Yeah. So, right. Um, let me save once more. Have everyone cast what they need to cast. Man keeps missing his decoy. Alright. One more heal to get back everyone's MP and let's do this. curious as well what I'll be able to steal from this dude as well so let me try stealing from him but cast silence on it first so techniques this minion just exploded on mass uh, destruction Why do I keep missing like bombshell I believe? Keep missing the info on what I just stole. Switch back um Frank here to Kili Boots. Frankly it has no element of weakness so Frank is just casting bio. Back up a little bit. We have uh, Valkyrie here, Kuraga, Frank, so that your HP is going to be cool. Okay. Dude, it's freaking causing like. Um, Low damage on everyone. Probably has to like a flame or on him or something. Is it going? Is it really going? Oh yeah, it's freaking casting. Renew on itself. Like a heal for it on itself. Right. How come okay. Fran isn't casting silence? Dude, it's gonna heal itself again. I knew 
show you how it's done. see that clear the path over there um, when it exploded so we can now pass by to the other side of the Salika wood. I believe here in the next map is where our hunt for the Bray is gonna be but I'm gonna do that in my next video guys. I'll do the hunt for the Bray and also head myself to Fun Coast so that's next up pretty much build fun and stuff <laughs> decoying himself but anyway thanks again uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one. And peace out. Bye-bye.